let's dive into one of the coolest and simplest combos in Destiny. First up, gobble up a solar grenade to activate the Heat Rises aspect. This sweet skill lets you break the laws of physics, hovering in midair while your solar grenade works its wonders. Once you're up there, it's showtime. Unleash your powered melee and rain destruction from the skies. Each enemy you drop with your melee triggers your Sun Bracer's exotic perk, instantly refilling your solar grenade for a short burst of fiery fury. Now, as long as you have this buff active, you can make it rain with solar grenades. And with every kill, you're keeping that heat rises buff alive and kicking. But here's the key. Snag another melee kill to keep the Sun Bracer's buff going for an endless grenade fiesta. Welcome to Insightful Gaming. Today, we're rolling out a build that is going to be a meta in Season 23. This isn't just any build. It's my absolute favorite, and for good reason. It's ridiculously fun and outrageously strong. Picture this, endless grenades, heaps of self-healing, and damage that's off the charts. And thanks to those seasonal mods, it's like playing on God Mode. The real MVP here is the Sun Bracers. These bad boys come with Helium Spirals, a perk that's all about solar power. Knock out an enemy with a solar melee attack and BAM! Your grenade energy is back, ready for another round. This means an endless barrage of solar grenades. Plus, your grenades hang around longer and hit harder. Total game changer. Pair these exotics with aspects that turbocharge your grenades. Fragments that set the ground ablaze, and seasonal mods that make you an unstoppable force, buffing you up and weakening your enemies. Before we jump into the juicy details, a massive thanks to all my channel members and subscribers. You're the reason these videos keep coming. If you're loving this content, smash that like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the sickest builds and coolest gaming tips. Alright, let's get into this epic build. Rolling right into the nitty gritty, let's talk stats. Top priority is resilience. Crank it up to 100 and transform into a gaming juggernaut with 30% more damage mitigation. Next up, aim for 100 discipline to keep those grenades flying. Now, onto the weapons that'll make this build a beast. For your primary, the choices are many. However, Sunshot stands out, especially for fans of big booms. Its perk, Sunburn, makes your shots explosive and lets you track tagged enemies. Plus, Every enemy taken down goes out with a bang, damaging their buddies nearby. If you don't have Sunshot, no sweat. Look for a legendary weapon with the incandescent perk, like the BXR-55 Battler. This solar powerhouse, coupled with the demolitionist perk, means more grenade action, more often. As for the heavy weapon, I am going with Apex Predator. This monster comes with two insane perks, Reconstruction for auto-reloading and potentially doubling your mag size, and bait and switch, boosting your damage after you've been dealing out pain with your other weapons. Basically, it's one of the mightiest heavy weapons you could arm yourself with. Gamers, let's dive into the abilities that'll turn you into a solar powerhouse in Destiny. For your super, we're rolling with Well of Radiance. It's like a life-saving oasis, keeping you and your team buffed and in the fight. Now, for our melee, we are using the Celestial Fire. This will launch a trio of fireballs that turn your foes into crispy critters on impact, while slapping them with a scorch for good measure. For our grenades, we are using the solar grenades. These bad boys unleash a burst of solar fury, continuously charring and damaging anyone foolish enough to stand in their way. And guess what? They get even nastier with your aspects and with our exotic sun bracers. We are using Phoenix Dive for our class ability. Think of it as a superhero landing, bursting with solar light to heal your allies. And with Heat Rises active, you're not just healing, you're restoring health and scorching enemies every time you dive. This is great to quickly get on the ground after you have been floating in the air with Heat Rises. Now, let's switch gears to Aspects and Fragments. First aspect up is Heat Rises. Consume a solar grenade, and you're floating in midair like a boss. While airborne, your powered melee becomes a death sentence for enemies, with each takedown refilling your solar grenade, all thanks to the Sun Bracer's exotic perk. This is your ticket to an endless barrage of solar grenades, as long as you keep landing those melee hits. For our second aspect, we are using the Touch of Flame. It's like turning your solar grenade into a mini volcano, stronger, longer lasting, and spitting out blobs of lava. Now, let's go over our fragments. First, Ember of Solace stretches out your Radiant and Restoration effects. Then, Ember of Char makes your Ignition spread Scorch even further. Next, Ember of Searing, Taking down Scorched targets refills your melee energy and spawns a Fire Sprite. Finally, 
we are using the Ember of Ashes for more Scorches. Alternatively, Ember of Char can be swapped with Ember of Torches for that instant Radiant buff. But hold up, once you snag Flint Striker in the third row of Seasonal Artifact, you'll be getting Radiant from Rapid Solar Weapon Precision Hits. So, Ember of Torches is your go-to until Flint Striker comes into play. Alright, let's gear up and dive into the armor mods that are going to make this build a Solar Legend. Starting at the top with the helmet, we've got Harmonic Siphon. This gem turns your quick solar weapon kills into an orb of power factory. Next, we're adding ashes to assets for that sweet super energy boost with every grenade kill. And of course, heavy ammo finder is a must to up our chances of snagging more heavy ammo. Shifting focus to the arms. First off, we've got Momentum Transfer, a cool trick for chopping down our melee cooldown each time our grenades deal damage. Then, double up with two melee kickstart mods. These bad boys kick in when you're out of melee energy, converting each armor charge into more melee energy. Sliding down to the chest, it's your call on two defensive mods mix and match based on your battle plan. And don't miss out on a charged up mod to carry more armor charge stacks. Now, down to the boots. We're lacing up with invigoration, reducing melee cooldown with every orb of power you grab. Pair that with insulation for a quicker class ability recharge per orb pickup. And for that extra edge, stacks on stacks doubling down on armor charges for every orb of power you collect. Last, but definitely not least, the Warlock Bond. Leading the charge is the Bomber mod, slashing your grenade cooldown every time you activate your class ability. Then, bring in the Reaper mod, which is all about spawning power orbs on weapon kills post-class ability use. And to top it all off, we've got Outreach, giving our melee cooldown an extra nudge. All right, let's shift gears and check out the seasonal mods that are going to turbocharge your build into overpowered territory. First up, the first row. Here, just grab the anti-champion mods that sync up with this week's meta. You know the drills stay adaptable and ready for anything. Moving on to the second row, we're picking Kindling Trigger. This mod is like a spark to a flame. When you're radiant, your solar weapons start applying Scorch to those not yet scorched enemies. It's like setting up a barbecue in the middle of the battlefield. In the third row, it's all about Flint Striker. This mod is a game changer. Rapid solar weapon precision hits, or just laying down a barrage of solar fire, gets you radiant. This is exactly why we're skipping the Ember of Torches. Fragment Flint Strikers got us covered. Plus, we're adding Wished into being to our arsenal. When your super is almost ready to rock, ability final blows will be raining orbs of power. Now, the fourth row. We're going with Revitalizing Blast. Think of it as your personal debuff grenade. Damage with a solar ability now weakens champions and bosses for a bit. Talk about evening the odds. Last, but not least, the fifth row. Here, we're locking in rays of precision. While you're radiant, your solar precision final blows turn enemies into fireworks. They just ignite. And let me tell you, this season's solar mods are straight up fire. Precision kills, giving you free ignites and scorches, Yes, please. And there you have it, folks, the grand finale of our fiery warlock build. I hope this guide left you pumped and ready to dominate. If you love this video and want more, don't be shy, drop a comment, smash that like button, and hit subscribe. Until we meet again, keep grinding and may the RNG gods be ever in your favor.